juicy porterhouse. I wanted to make one last video reviewing some topics and comments that I've seen on Alvarez vs. McGregor video. First, many of you kept saying that Eddie Alvarez was a college wrestler, which isn't true. Eddie went to a Catholic high school and was an All-American in 2000 and 2001. He grew up boxing and wrestling, then went on to start training in MMA after high school. Now that doesn't mean Eddie is a bad wrestler, because he's not. He's a very good wrestler, and he's adapted it very well to MMA. It's proven over the course of his fights. Second, many of you believe and argue that because Connor was able to defend Nate's takedowns is somehow proof that his takedown defense has improved since the Chad Mendes fight. Now, Connor's takedown defense may have improved, but the Diaz fight is not proof of that. If that's what you believe, prepare for a rude awakening because Nate Diaz is not a wrestler. He doesn't have an explosive double leg or high crotch single. Diaz is a jujitsu guy. He'll catch kicks or he'll trip. Sometimes he'll do a single leg dump. I mean, he can sweep and transition on the mat, but he's not a wrestler. That's what we're looking for in this fight. Can Connor defend the takedown of a wrestler? If he does get taken down, how does he do getting back to his feet or threatening with submissions off his back? Still, as I say in my first video, Connor McGregor's ground game isn't non-existent or shit like many fans like to say. There are still unknowns with his grappling, but there are aspects of it that are good and some that are bad. It's not cut and dry. It's not an absolute. Every discipline has layers. For me, that's what makes this fight very interesting. I'm excited to see if Eddie can prove what he's saying. Just as I'm excited to see if Connor can prove what he's saying. Another aspect of this fight is Eddie's stand-up. The majority of people are going to say that Eddie has to take Connor down to win, which isn't true either. Eddie can knock Connor out or box him up on the feet. It obviously depends on the approach Eddie takes, but so far from interviews, it seems like he's quite ready for Connor's style. Also, Eddie is wise to say he doesn't have to take him down, but the threat is always there. Very true, and one that I pointed out in the Woodley vs. Thompson analysis. The takedown threat can make an opponent react, which may create openings on the feet, get them to drop their guard and come up high with strikes. Eddie also has excellent side-to-side -side movement, which allows him to roll with punches coming at him. It's one of the reasons why he's tough to finish in addition to his wrestling. Moving side-to-side -side allows him to lead his opponent in certain directions, lead them into punches. If you follow me on Twitter, I highlighted this in a few GIFs weeks before I made the video. I also highlighted how Connor gets tagged with the right hand when he overextends or doesn't draw back his hands quick enough to guard. I know many of you said I'm biased, which is fine, because I understand how you come to that conclusion based on my writing of the first breakdown. However, I do the same thing in a lot of my videos that I make picks on. I study their fights, I see certain patterns or openings, and when I've come to a conclusion, I begin to write based around my pick presenting a certain viewpoint that led to my decision. I did the same thing in my breakdown of RDA versus Eddie Alvarez. I highlighted where I thought RDA was weak and where Alvarez was strong. I apologize if that gives off the wrong vibe. My pick is Connor because I don't expect this fight to go over three rounds. And with the finishing rate of both these guys, I just think it's a recipe for an early finish. Whether that's Eddie taking Connor down and beating him up or tapping him out, whether that's Eddie lining something on the feet, maybe Connor catches Eddie's neck when he goes in for a single leg or just does what he usually does and outstrikes Eddie. Who knows? I think Connor is better at establishing his rhythm range and pressure early. I think his strikes will land and do damage. I do think Connor will get taken down, but that's where that unknown variable comes in for me. I don't think Connor just knocks Eddie out cold, but I think he gets the finish through accumulative damage late in the first or sometime in the second round. And I wouldn't put money on this fight because I think it's too close. But since I don't see the fight going along, I'm favoring Connor. For me, it's just not a big upset if Eddie wins. Enjoy fight week. Enjoy UFC 205. Thank you for watching.